So this lesson is going to be about how to submit assignments to OneNote. Um, first of all, all homework is going to be submitted to OneNote using a phone. Um, and sometimes I may call on assessments to be um, submitted to OneNote. Your exit quizzes will also be submitted. And then you will also be uploading physical, or, sorry, digital scans to OneNote of anything that I pass out to you. Basically, I want OneNote to be a digital binder of everything you have. Um, that way, you aren't as inclined to carry around the physical binders all over the school in a world where you might not be able to have a locker. So let's go down to um, kind of a typical assignment. I'm actually going to go to my pre-calc class just to be a little bit different. And I'm going to look at uh, my period two, chapter one, and let's just go to the first assignment. Um, this would be this assignment. It's very typical that I'm going to have pages printed for you on OneNote so that you can see the assignment and not to have to have the physical book with you. You don't need to print anything here, just complete it as you always would for a math assignment. Um, but once you complete it on paper, um, and this is speaking to those who are completing it on paper, several of you will choose to complete it um, in OneNote itself using a, a tablet device. But if you've completed it on paper, it's time to turn it in. Um, how you're gonna do this is you are gonna open OneNote on your phone. So let me go to my phone and OneNote here on my home screen for that. Um, so I'm going to open OneNote and let's say that I am Maggie Gonzalez. I know her so I can kind of pick on her here. Um, I'm going to go to assignments and I'm going to go to this first assignment because if I look back at OneNote here, this assignment that I completed matches the assignment that I'm turning it in. Um, by the end of this, you should have all your assignments here ready for you to see. So I'm going to tap on that and I have a blank page. Don't worry about any error message that pops up ahead. We're, we're probably okay. But what I'm gonna do is now I'm just gonna kind of tap in the white space here and go down to insert a photo. And I'm gonna insert, and I'm actually, I wanna take a picture using this app. I don't wanna insert it from the library. Do not take pictures using your camera's phone and then just insert them here. They end up looking worse. So we're gonna go to take picture. Now it's gonna open up my phone's camera. Now, down here at the bottom, I have three options. What I want to do is I want to move it over to document. Um, now, I'm going to put this down for a second. And I have a document that I just made up here called Math Homework. Um, it's sitting against a, a decent background. So I'm just going to hold it up, um, let it take recognize the four corners, and we're going to snap. And then it's going to do a little image processing. Um, and then it will give me what looks like a, a decent one. I didn't get that bottom right corner perfectly. Uh, and then I'm going to hit done because I'm done. I would have hit add new if I wanted to add a new page. And that is plenty. Um, I know it looks a little off because I kind of have the I'm outside, but I would recommend doing this inside uh, for obvious reasons. I'm going to try this one more time just to kind of take another picture of this one. I'm going to hold it back a little bit more and let it do its thing. So it takes an image, processes it. Okay. If you're kind of so inclined, you can kind of go up here and try to change any of the settings or just do a little bit of cropping. I definitely want you to rotate it if you happen to get a bad image and it's not rotated correctly. And at the bottom, I want you to hit add new if you want to insert a second page. So I'm just going to do a second page. And I also want to show you that I can hold the phone pretty far back from the image because Believe it or not, your ca your cameras and your phones are really good now. So they don't need to be right up against the page. They can be pretty far back. Okay, so I took this, there's my original one. Oops, don't want to drop everything I have. There's my original one. And down here um, are a couple more. So we're going to leave this phone open for a second. Uh, and I'm going to go over to, let's go to my pre-calc binder. I'm going to go down to Maggie um, and Assignments. And we're going to look at that text section one. And you can see that on my binder, it's already synced. So my job now is I see Maggie has turned in her homework, and I'm going to go and, you know, do a little grading on it. And that's what you're going to see. This is old school pen to paper type grading. Now, if you do, not, if you do your homework directly on here, that's fine. Just make sure it ends up in this same spot under assignments. You will also have spots for exit quizzes, which you'll be labeling those by date. Um, and we'll kind of discuss that more as we get to our first exit quiz. And then assessments. Um, if you see any untitled page pages here, don't worry about that. 
you can delete those and kind of shift these in and out as you want. Sometimes when I distribute the pages, it does that and I can't really prevent it. But for the most part, um, it, it's enough for you to see that this is where you deposit your things. This is where a view packet would go. This is where a test would go. Um, that way, it's easier on me to go and grade everyone's all at once. I'm going to delete Maggie's here now so she doesn't have this here. But it's it's easier, easiest on me to know that it's all in the same place um, and, and that I, I know where to access it. So you should know where to turn things in and I should know where to access it.